people, my people, happy new year. If you want to make it new year happy, drink some quality booze. That's my philosophy. Good booze solves all sorts of issues. Want to be happy? Drink good booze. Want to be, if you're sad, drink good booze. You want to just iron out a couple of kinks? Drink good booze. You get the picture. Now, I did a citrus vodka out of Healthful recently by Alchemy Distillers in downtown Healthful. A little bit. Okay, so tonight I'm, well, today when you're watching it, I'm jumping north to Sydney. Now, I think I've already done an Archie Rose gin. Now, Archie Rose is also expanded into vodkas and whiskey, and I'll get around to the whiskey sometime in winter. Now, I went and got this baby. Archie Rose Native Botanicals Vodka. It's 40%. We hear the sound of happiness. Real cork, by the way, not fake variety. Now, I've not long pulled this baby out of my freezer where it's sat there for a good five or six hours because above proof and really good quality alcohol doesn't freeze. It's big on the citrus. In fact, I shall put my intelligent looks on, the things that make me look intelligent. It says on the front of the bottle, cold distilled with lemon scented gum, native sunrise lime and Australian peach. Now, if there's a member of the peach, which is the um, same family as roses, um, apples, um, blueberries, uh, blackberries, sorry, and off the my head strawberries and I may be along on that one. If there's actually a native Australian peach, it's escaped me. Lemon scented gum comes from um, just south of Sydney. It's kind of called Corimbia citriodora. Native sunrise lime. There are actually native limes um, and they do crossbreed with the exotic ones. So um, a native citrus, Australian native citrus will actually crossbreed with an exotic citrus despite the fact they've been separated genetically for about 40 million years. So, as I said, I've not long pulled this sucker out of my, um, or sucker, this delicious stuff out of my, um, freedom. And you can see how it's basically just crawling around my glass. Um, it's, like I say, it's been in my, my fridge, in, in my kitchen. It's been sitting on about 18, minus 18 for about the last five or six hours. But I'm trying enough time to get cold. Well, I'm trying to get cold. Now I'm going to have this baby neat, um, partly because, well, good vodka, as the Russians will tell you, when they're not off doing unpleasant things in the Ukraine, is actually best knocked back neat. In fact, a um, bit of information, my darling wife didn't like vodka or pickles until she actually had them both at the same time. Um, so we went to a place in um, Van Huntley called Nevsky, Russian restaurant named after the great, great Russian author, I think Nevsky was an author, author poet, and we got a shot of vodka and a pickle and down the hatch with both, and you know, buy that one and drink the other one and bang, perfect pairing. Um, so I'm going to try this baby neat. Oh. oh yeah, there is a truckload of lemon botanicals in this baby. Now the write-up, a truly native, a truly Australian vodka that celebrates native botanicals carefully distilled in copper vacuum stills using a unique cold distillation process to eliminate the adverse impacts of heat and create botanical distillates of clarity and distinct flavour. Native lemon scented gum, sunrise, the other aroma chamomile to create an irresistible flavour profile. Now, all the botanicals that you will taste in a gin or a vodka are, in one way or the other, a volatile. A lot of them are oils. So, to, to cold distill this, or to do this, um, yeah, I think you said cold distillation. Yeah, cold distillation process. What it means is, is that they've done their best to keep the. Um, <clears throat> The oils out of the um, citrus and the gum, and whacked it into a whole lot of um, vodka. It's done amazing things for the flavour profile. 
and I apologize for the background noise if you're hearing it. Um, I have a neighbor who seriously needs a life and um, she's mowing her lawn at nine o'clock at night, which is what you do when you um, need a life um, and you aren't drinking this good stuff. So to that bit of a side, bit of a whinge about my neighbor who needs a life. Um, the reason why they've gone to cold distillation is they want as much of these wonderful citrus botanicals and flavorings as they can physically pack into this baby. And by God, they've succeeded. Um, I would have this with possibly a Monaco, a light Mediterranean tonic, if any, if it wasn't knocking it back me. Um, so if you are going to knock it back neat, be careful. It, like all good booze, hits the scales at a neat smack on 40%. It's proof. Um, hits 40% for the slow jammer, basically. Um, now it's Sachi Rose. Like I said, there's a gin. In fact, in this group, there will be Sachi Rose's signature dry. Um, I mean, the Archie Rose, like a lot of Australian distillers seem to be at the moment, are out there just slaying, sorry, people in the um, international alcohol competitions. And this gin would be another, uh, gin, sorry, vodka, would be another good reason why. Archie Rose is doing amazing stuff, um, and I look forward to actually rolling over and playing dead, see if I can get my hands on their whiskey um, in the dark, cold months of a Melbourne winter. Um, turning blue while I do my reviews for you. So this is the Archie Rose Vodka. It's about 60 or 70 dollars a bottle. I got it a week ago, as you can see, Christmas, a certain amount of it went missing. Um, and yes, it went missing into me because life is too short to do that wild thing with ugly people and um, drink bad booze. And that's the two rules I live in life, which explains the reason why Selena is such a good looking girl and I'm drinking this. So this is Archie Rose's um, native botanical um, vodka out of Sydney, Chin Chin. And thank you for subscribing and just remember that giveaway that's only going to happen if you subscribe or follow. I'll catch you around. Happy New Year! Want to be happy? Drink more good beers like this. I'll catch you.